Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to Mathematics 6, quarter 3, week number 1. We are now in quarter 3, week 1 of our most essential learning competency. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to visualize and describe different solid figures, cube, prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere using various concrete and pictorial models differentiate solid figures from plain figures and then we're going to identify the basis of the solid figure now lesson number one you're going to understand the solid figures now let's have some recall identify the plain figure being illustrated i give you one minute to Guess what would be the plain figure being illustrated for figure number one, figure number two, three, four, five, six, seven. Time's up. Now let's reveal the name of each of figure being illustrated. We have for figure number one, we have triangle. For figure number two, we have square. And figure number three, we have rectangle. Figure number four, pentagon. Figure number five, we have hexagon. And then we have figure number six, we have heptagon. And lastly, we have octagon. So these are the plain figures. So we have triangle for three-sided polygon. We have square for four-sided polygon. Also, we have rectangle for a four-sided polygon. And we have pentagon for five-sided polygon. Hexagon for six-sided polygon. And we have heptagon for uh, seven-sided polygon. And we have octagon for eight-sided polygon polygon now let's define first a solid figure a solid figure are three-dimensional objects which means that it have length width and height or depth so these are the examples of a solid figures we have cube triangular prism rectangular prism pyramid cylinder sphere now let's proceed to the first solid figure that we're going to discuss we have the cube a cube is a three-dimensional object that has six congruent square faces so this would be the cube we have the faces of the cube we have one two three three and four for this side five for the base six for the back side now we have six faces and then we have the face is the flat surface surrounded by the line segment. And then we have the edge. Edge is a two faces met at a line segment called edge. So this would be the edge. We have the two faces met. We have this one and this one. So therefore this would be the edge. So also this would be the edge. Also, this one, this one, this one, this one. Now, let's proceed to the vertex. A vertex is a three or more edge met R vertex. So, this would be the edge number one, two, three. So, therefore, this point is a vertex. Or, this point is a vertex. Yes, because we have one, two, three three edge met to each other so therefore this would be the vertex now this would be the properties of the solid figures now what would be each of the properties so how many edges do a cube have we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12. So, therefore, we have 12 edges. Then, 
we have vertices. So, how many vertices do the cube have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1 at the back, 6, 7, 8. So, therefore, we have 8 vertices. Then, how many faces? As I said earlier, cube has 6 faces. Now, let's proceed to a rectangular prism. A rectangular prism is a polyhedron with two congruent and parallel bases. It is also called a cuboid. So this would be a rectangular prism. Now, let's reveal the properties of a rectangular prism. We have the faces. So it's the same as the cube. We have six faces for the rectangular prism. We have how many faces? and vertices so this would be the a prism is a polyhedron with two parallel and congruent polygonal faces and all other faces are parallel parallelogram now let's define how many edges do the rectangular prism have we have 12 edges 8 vertices and 6 faces Cube and rectangular prism have the same properties. They have the same number of edges, same number of vertices, and same number of faces. Now, let's proceed to triangular prism. Triangular prism is a solid figure with flat, sur flat faces, two identical bases, and with the same cross-sectional all along its length so this would be the triangular prism as you can see the basis of the triangular prism is a triangular form or triangular triangular figure now this would be the vertex so let's define the edges and the faces now this would be the properties how many edges to the triangular prism have we have one two three four five six seven eight nine so therefore we have nine then how many vertices do the triangular prism have we have one two three four five six so therefore we have six vertices and then how many faces do the triangular prism have we have one for this triangle two for this triangle and we have how many rectangle we have one two three so therefore we have five faces for the triangular prism now let's proceed to cylinder a cylinder is a solid figure with two congruent circular bases. This should be the cylinder. We have the bases, height, and the base. As you can see, this should be a circular basis. And it has a circular basis. And then we have the edges. What would be the number of edges of a cylinder? We have very good we have zero edges how many vertices we have okay we have zero vertices as you can see there is no intersection of edges and then how many faces very good we have three faces now let's proceed to a cone a cone is a defined as a distinct three-dimensional solid figure with a flat and curved surface pointed towards a top so this would be the cone we have the faces height and the base now let's define the properties we have how many edges very good we have zero edges because it has a curved surface now how many vertices 
correct. We have one vertices. And then we have how many faces? Correct. We have two faces to form a Q a cone. Now, let's proceed to a pyramid. A pyramid consists of square, base, and four triangular sides. So this would be the pyramid. We have the base, square pyramid, so square base, and we have the vertex, the edges, the base, and we have the base. So the base of the pyramid is square. So this would be a square pyramid. Now, we have the height. Now what would be the Properties of the pyramid. How many edges do the pyramid have? The square pyramid have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Therefore, we have 8 edges. So, this would be 8. Now, how many vertices do we have now? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this would be 5. Next, we have how many faces? We have 5 also. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and the base square. So, this would be 5 faces. Now, let's proceed to sphere. Now, a sphere is a solid geometric shape whose surface is made up of all the points that are equal distance from the point that is the shape center now this should be the sphere so let's define the properties of the sphere so how many edges do we see in this sphere very good we have zero how many vertices zero and then how many paces so we have 12 so some books uh, stated that the paces of the sphere is 12 now, let's see the net pattern of each of the following solid figures. We have a cube. So, the net pattern for the cube is this one. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 square plane figure. Next, we have the rectangular prism. So, the net figure for the rectangular prism is... 1, 2, 3, 4 rectangle and 2 square. And then we have the triangular pyramid. So the uh, net pattern is we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 equilateral triangle. Next we have square pyramid. We have 1 square for the base and then we have one two three four isosceles triangle and then we have the cylinder so the cylinder is this one is this net pattern we have two circle and one rectangle so therefore the basis of the cylinder is three then the cone we have okay this would be the net pattern for the cone and then we have the spear as i said earlier we have 12 pieces for the spear so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then we have the real example of these solid figures we have cube this would be the real example we have the cube box the dice and the Rubik's Cube and the Ice Cube. For the rectangular prism, we have a box, a rectangular box, eraser, books, and then a box of gift. In triangular prism, we have the Toblerone, the tent, the uh, cakes, uh, cheese, Watermelon shape like a triangular prism. And then we have this square pyramid. Uh, pyramid, uh, Rubik's Cube, uh, pyramid style, pyramid, 
and then we have the antenna building top of the building we have the glass of pyramid the rubik's cube pyramid so that would be the real example of the square pyramid and then we have this cylinder we have the cylinder type block block and then we have the mug the m gas tank and then we have the mug and then for the cone we have the cone shape ice cream cone hat then party hat christmas hat then for the sphere we have the marble but uh, soccer ball watermelon then marble again now so what have you learned in this lesson for today so examples of the solid figures are cube triangular prism square pyramid and rectangular prism and also we have the sphere triangular pyramid and cylinder cone so take note of each of the properties of the solid figures now for your home learning task grade 6 pupils you need to answer this complete the chart below you need to fill in the properties of each of the solid figures we have the cube cone cylinder rectangular prism sphere square pyramid and triangular pyramid so that's all for today thank you and god bless everyone